hello everyone so today I will I will explain how we can create powerful chatbots uh, with uh, chat GPT and spring boot so in this tutorial we are gonna I will explain like a step by step process so that uh, we can easily understand like how we can integrate uh, this chat GPT with uh, spring boot so actually while I will doing that so there is a no kind of extra dependencies is required like open AI dependencies kind of thing what you need only just simple spring boot project with uh, supportive like it's spring rest APIs so what we are going to do in this tutorial first we will create one spring boot uh, spring boot project which will support means uh, I will create using uh, Gradle, uh, Gradle and the Java 17 and spring boot also the three then like uh, we need to create one open API key so what is the purpose of this open API key actually this will be treat as a like authorization token you can say because when we are going to connecting with the chatbot chat GBT APIs then we need to pass this token as a bearer token next after creation of this open AI open API key we need to create the chatbot services and with that maybe there are some kind of supportive DTOs and all those things also we need to create and then like rest controller and then finally once all these steps are done then we need to like uh, test these particular applications so nowadays as you know like chatbots are very like uh, uh, business interactions with the actually there is a means actually one of the best way to interact with the business and the customer right because using the chatbot they are easily connecting with the customers so the use of the AI in the chatbots is making the experiencing more human like and the chat GPT is one such AI language right one language model so this chatbots help in automating automating the repetitive tasks like maybe if customer asking something then we need to respond something based on there are certain things so the, those kind of things the repetitive kind of things we can easily solve using the like chatbots so now like we can easily do those things using the chat GPT so if we are going to integrate with this chat GPT using the spring boot then what kind of needs we need just kind of basic understanding of the spring boot and like basic idea of the also like open API key and like uh, there are uh, I, in this tutorial I am going to explain like how we can integrate there is one API actually are going to integrate from the open AI like chat uh, slash uh, completions API endpoint so that uh, basic idea like what is doing so for for like uh, creating this uh, application so what we need to do we need to first like create a spring boot application so for creating this spring boot application from a spring initializer we can easily create and while you creating uh, I've already actually created the project and already as you can see the chat GPT integrations already I've created this project and for this uh, I have used the Gradle dependencies and here as you can see I have used uh, this starter web Lombok and the boot uh, dev tools so these three dependencies I have used uh, this is just to reloading the server uh, this is for creating the rest controller and this is Lombok just to avoid the get and so this is the small like dependencies uh, we can I can I use so you guys can also create your own from the spring initializer I think you guys already know or also like in my last videos previous video already I explained how to like integrate uh, how to create the spring boot project from the spring initializer you can check out those things also I will refer those link in this uh, my uh, video description section next what we need to do we need to create like API keys so for API keys there is one site from like here like this platform openapi.com from here you can create your own keys what you need to do you need to do is like create uh, this one and you can just provide your key name key name something like uh, key and create the secret key so one you will create this so it will automatically create it will be something like this so from here you can get this information so as i know means as you know like i have already created so that's why i'm not going to create one so once your api key creation is done then you need to add use this uh, properties key into the application dot properties file uh, like uh, open ai dot api dot key something like this and then is equal to in the application properties file so that we can use from us means uh, uh, we can use from this this project <coughs> next what do we need to do we need to like uh, create another package because here we are gonna write uh, one uh, chat gbt service classes which actually means uh, talking with the chat gbt 
so here we need to create one services let's say create another class something like uh, chat gpt services chat gpt service okay next what we need to do we need to annotate with its service annotation okay next like uh, we need to use private string like this api key and we need to read this value from properties file open ai dot api dot key okay so that means we can get this api key from over there and next what we need to we need to like define the url like uh, what uh, uh, url we are gonna connect so that will be obviously final it it will be not change so open ai open ai chat endpoint you can say equal to it will be https okay now like uh, this uh, view on chat completions so this particular api we're gonna access next one we need to do like we need to write one method which actually like talking with this particular services get chat gpt response so before actually this one we need to create the like uh, request and response structure so for that uh, we need to create another package over here let me create this one dot dto here actually we need to create chat gpt request and response so let's uh, create class chat gpt request okay now what actually that actually should map with this uh, the chat gpt request right so here actually we need to pass like what kind of model it is then like private list of message that we need to pass Okay. We need to create this message class also. Next, uh, we need to create new class message. Here, actually, it contains two things. One is like private string role and second one is private string content there is a one typo now actually we should annotate with at the rate data at the rate all argument constructor at the rate no argument constructor okay now message is ready now okay here also we need to annotate with uh, like at the rate data 
नेक्स्ट नो आर्गुमेंट कंस्ट्रक्टर सो दिस रिक्वेस्ट इज डन नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हाट यू नीड टू यू नीड टू लाइक क्रिएट अनदर रिस्पांस क्लास चार जी बी टी रेस्पन्स ओके सो व्हाट आर द रेस्पन्स उल रिसीव फ्रम द लाइक चार जी बी टी सो देर इज एक्चुअली लिस्ट ऑफ चॉइस एक्चुअली choice here we need to create another class choice public static class choice okay and choice actually contains some index and next message okay here actually you need to provide some some lombok annotation all argument constructor and no argument constructor okay here also we need to provide some annotation like data no argument constructor all argument constructor okay so that means request and response is ready now now what we need to do we need to write the service class okay so here actually we need to what we need to write we need to like call uh, whenever we are going to calling this one so in this calling what we need to pass we need to pass like headers as well as also the request so as you know like we are going to use the like rest template so uh, so first what do you need to create we need to create like header so for header what do you need to create http headers is there okay so we are going over here as you can see what is this is net and this is the spring here so we are going to use the spring one headers HTTP headers. So now headers. We need to set the content type. As you know, like the media type should be application. JSON. next in the headers we need to pass the token set authorization z d t i o n and here what do you need to pass you need to pass like brr and then space and with that also we need to use this api key okay meaning the headers preparation is done now next what do we need to do we need to like create the request over here Okay. Request dot set model. Here we need to pass actually the chat GPT model. So there is already like one defined model is there, like GPT hyphen three point five. This is the advanced model T U R B O Turbo. Okay. 
this model actually we need to pass next what do we need to pass means we need to pass the messages okay so what we can do here list here actually we need to add this one new message as you know it's a two constructor so we need to pass this one and the like prompt we need to pass actually prompt this prompt actually is coming as a request from the like endpoint like what kind of query it is what kind of prompt it is okay so now the request also like the request preparation is also done next we need to use the rest template next actually now whatever the request and headers so that actually we can set uh, from for like a, a used as a entity so for that we need to pass those things as a HTTP entity chat gbt request entity to new here we need to pass the request sorry here we need to pass the request and headers yeah okay now in the template What do you do? We need to post actually for post for object. Here actually URL, then what do you need to pass? The request and next sorry. Request means it's an entity here. And then like what response we'll get from the chat GBT. So chat GBT response also we need to pass over here so this is a like done from service wise and we need to pass this response we, do, we need to return this response from over here okay as there's a no return type we need to use this one so this service is done what it will do we will get one query or prompt from over here then with whatever the query asks from the user or customer so that come over here and here we, need, we are preparing the headers and then like uh, uh, after passing the headers we have set those things like model uh, like uh, and then like uh, input prompt for this chat gpt so those things are then and finally we are calling this service and once we are calling this service from here we will get the response and also we need to pass this response structure from over here so as you know like uh, this uh, completion API endpoint to get the response from the prompt and uh, it's uh, taking this prompt as the input uh, for getting the response from this endpoint and uh, this uh, uh, chat GBT response will uh, means it will uh, generate the response uh, it will mapping those things and uh, yeah now like what we need to do we need to like call some other services so actually from the uh, controller actually so from controller it will called getting called and that uh, uh, from there over there we will return the response actually so for this we can create another package over here like uh, sorry not class we need to create another package for writing the controller so that we can expose uh, the outsides also so now controller 
okay now let's uh, create one class over here uh, name something like uh, we can say ch chatbot controller something like so that it will be similar look like similar chatbot controller as you know like we need to annotate with uh, rest controller next like uh, request mapping slash api here actually we need to like uh, create one method uh, it should return a string response and the method name is like uh, chatbot okay it will be a get mapping and the path should be like uh, chatbot kind of thing here what we will get we will get uh, kind of request param and the like uh, name you can give anything like something like the query and like a string query and here we need to inject uh, like uh, ChatGPT services so that we can we can call we can call this service next what we need to do we need to call this services with this query <coughs> so it will return like uh, ChatGPT response It will return chat GBT response like response and what we need to uh, respond back to the endpoint or user like return response from here we can get choice it's having the multiple lists so from from here we can get so from here we need to okay. We need to take the zero index and from here we can get message so mean we can okay from the message also we can get the content okay let's start this one let's start this project with uh, a spring boot app Okay, let's. Uh, there is one typo. Uh, what uh, should be actually open? Open AI. Let's rerun it again. yeah it started now it's uh, started in the 880 port and uh, this is the api like uh, api and the chatbot so api chatbot and query okay now what is the query it is like what is this being okay let's hit okay we are getting some exception let's see what it is unauthorized okay 
let's see uh, something look like okay 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 here is a typo brr so now let's start let's see like uh, now it should work okay it's restarted again now let's see looks like it should work now as it is taking time so because like uh, we have connected from locally and then locally to the chatbot so that's why it's taking little bit of time so as you know like we have the query is the what is spring so spring is lightweight open source so it's written the response over here right so we can ask anything in this query and it will give us the response so as you know like uh, we can we can uh, ask anything like maybe uh, the next question is what is spring boot okay so it will again return some different response let's uh, wait for some time Okay, service is unavailable with other requests. So let's try again. It's taking little bit of time. Yeah, maybe it's unavailable currently, so we can ask any small question like uh, what is Java? Let's try it. yeah you can see java is a means we can get the response right so we can get any like whatever the we can give the query accordingly we can give the response so like as you know like uh, means uh, in this x tutorial we can integrate this uh, chat db we can use the spring boot and from this controller we can get the response so as you know like this is a like integration is now it is very simple so we can't uh, like easily integrate with these things if you like these things please uh, subscribe my channel and for so that like in future also you can get uh, notifying when i'm uploading something new or if you guys are anything any things any queries please feel free to ask those things in my comment and uh, thank you very much thank you